Welcome back to Halibut Plays with me Halley with another gem editor tutorial but today we're on call to arms and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use gem editor script to board troops onto a helicopter, take off, fly across an airfield, land, disembark the troops and then the helicopter will fly away off the map. So stay till the end to learn all the script for all these phases and to make sure it will work properly for you. This was a requested video so make sure you leave a comment with any other requests and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Okay, well enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. So let's begin with the soldiers boarding the helicopter. So obviously first of all you need to spawn yourself a helicopter as I have here. And then we're going to need to identify this vehicle fairly easily so we need to add a tag to it. So if you press U and create a tag. I'm going to call it helicopter. Now we need some soldiers to board the aircraft. So let's spawn those in now. Okay, with those spawned, we're going to want to give these guys a tag as well. So we're going to give them the tag of passengers. Add that onto there. Next, we need to create a trigger. So if we go into triggers up here, right click and add we're going to call this soldiers board helicopter the first command here at the bottom we're going to put in is actor state which can be found here so we click OK selector is going to want to be our soldiers here who we labeled as a passengers click on there and we're going to put the speed as assault. So what this will do is make the soldiers sprint to the aircraft like they're in a bit of a hurry to get there. Next is another command which is going to be board. Board is found in the actor and there it is. So selector is going to be selecting the passengers and the vehicle is going to be our helicopter. So that's all there should be to making your soldiers board. So if we just save our mission here and press start, we'll see that the men are boarding the helicopter. So what you want to do is take a rough estimate of how long it took the soldiers to board the aircraft because that's going to come in handy now for this next bit. So next, now we've got the soldiers to board, we want the helicopter to take off. And for this, we're going to create a new trigger and call it helicopter. We're going to create a command. And the command here, first of all, is going to be a delay. The delay till the aircraft starts taking off. So that's why it's important to sort of take a note of how long it took the soldiers to board the aircraft. I'm going to put, I don't know, roughly 18 seconds and we'll see how we get on. And then another command, which is going to be air state. The selector is, of course, going to be our helicopter again. And we want to select the altitude that we want the aircraft to fly at. I find uh, 15 works for now just because it makes it more obvious to see the aircraft as it goes across the screen. But obviously you can you can vary that on how low flying or high flying you want the helicopter to go. Next we're going to create a waypoint group. So just go onto waypoint here, which is on number four there, and we're going to add a group here at the top, and we're going to call it helicopter. And we're going to come down here, and we're going to add our first waypoint, and we're going to add it just underneath the aircraft because this is the point in which the aircraft will take off from and where it will hover above. So now if we go back to our trigger, we're going to right click and we're going to find actor to waypoint which is in other actor to waypoint. The selector is going to be a helicopter and the waypoint is the one we just created so if you've got multiple waypoints just make sure you take a note of what that number was but for us it is zero. So all we have to do now is drop save 
before we start it and then we can test it out. So press and start. So we've left 18 seconds so we'll see if that's going to be enough. You can always press the back key here and speed things up a bit just to see if they can enter in time. And there we go, so the aircraft is starting to take off, that was plenty of time. Now we can see it is going to take off to 15 meters that we selected and it is hovering above waypoint zero. So that's all there is to creating uh, the helicopter to take off. So let's take it a bit further and go into an actual flight with the helicopter. So to create a flight path for your helicopter, you're going to want to go back into your waypoints, select your helicopter group. And so we've got our zero here just underneath the aircraft. So what we're going to want to do is link some waypoints together. So you can click this button here which will make sure that they link together and we're going to add. So my aim is to get the aircraft to travel across the, uh, the airfield here and land at this other helicopter pad. So what we're going to want to do is drop a waypoint midway and you can see that yellow lines connected them and then I'm going to drop the second waypoint here at the helipad right in the center of the helipad. Obviously, make sure when you're looking, have a look down. Is it clear? If we're going to go into here, we're going to have a bit of an accident on this big tower. So that's all clear. That should go down there fine. So if we just drop a save here, aircraft takes off, follows it to the first waypoint and follows it to the second waypoint. And there it is just going to hover. So that's the flight but now we want it to land, so we're gonna move on to that for the next step. So next we're gonna get this aircraft here to land. So what we need to do is select waypoint one and we're gonna give it a command just down here. So we're gonna right click and we're going to port air state. And what we're going to want to do is select this and put in our 15 meters. So what that is going to do is make sure that our aircraft is still at 15 meters when it gets to this point. But on this second point, when it gets here, we're going to want it to land on the ground. So we're going to right click after selecting our second waypoint. We're going to go into commands, add, and we're going to go to air state again so we're going to leave the selector as that waypoint and we're going to tick for it to go onto the ground and the altitude will be zero meters and drop save and let's see how it works still at 15 meters here at the first waypoint and we get to the second waypoint and we have landed And that's all there is to it, to making the aircraft land. I can show you a quick alternative here if you want aircraft to stop for its engine to turn off. So to get the aircraft to switch its engine off when it lands, you can just go back onto your second waypoint by heading over to here, select it, and on the commands, you can literally click stop engine there and this will be the result. So we have made our soldiers board, the aircraft take off, fly, land. Now we're gonna to want to make the soldiers to leave the helicopter and run back onto the battlefield. So what we're gonna to want to do is create a new waypoint. So if we go back onto this flag here, go over to where the aircraft lands and I'm going to take off auto link because we don't want this waypoint to link. I'm going to pop a waypoint here, round about where this hangar is. So the soldiers are going to land here and run to waypoint three. The reason we don't want them to link, because if they link, the aircraft is following this route here and it's going to want to fly directly into the hangar, which we're not going to want. So we're going to make that a separate one here. And after that, we're going to want to create our zone. So that's just below the waypoint flag. But what we're going to do is go on to new circle and we're going to call it emit. 
I'm going to press OK. And we're going to put it where the aircraft is landing. So radius of 8 is quite big. We're going to want it most of the aircraft size, so about 5, something like that. You're going to want to put this zone where the aircraft is going to land because it's going to be useful for our next trigger that we're going to create. So we're going to create a new trigger. I'm going to go down here and we're going to call this one soldier soldiers emit in the condition here at the top we're going to go down to near double click on that the unit is going to be our passengers put that in there and near to is going to be the zone we've just created so when it's near to the admit zone these future commands will trigger the distance we're going to put as one meter away we're going to have to put one meter when it's zero it's too precise and it's not going to work so that's our condition so when that's triggered what do we want to happen we're going to first pop a delay of five seconds this is so when the aircraft lands we don't want them to jump out straight away we're going to want them to the aircraft to land have a bit of time and they're going to go then they're going to start jumping out next we're going to go on to another command go into actor and find the emit command so the selector is going to be the helicopter itself so we want the helicopter to emit its passengers to that waypoint we've just created over here so waypoint 3 we don't need to do that mode all would mean even the pilots leave so we want somebody to actually fly the aircraft away in a bit so we don't want them to leave so we're going to go on to passengers and click OK and then finally here at the bottom we're going to add a actor state so that the troops are running from the aircraft to the hangar not just having a nice little stroll so actor state we're going to choose the passengers and we're going to go for the assault speed again and click OK so that should be it if you drop a save and let's test it so here's the helicopter it's landing we're starting five seconds and now they are leaving the aircraft and running for our waypoint three so now we've got this helicopter just waiting there we want that to leave the battle leave the battlefield sharpish so that's going to be our next task okay so thank you for bearing with me and we're here at the final phase which is the aircraft flying away so first thing we're going to want to do is create another waypoint go to the waypoint up here go back onto your group and we are going to add another non-linked waypoint so I'm going to make it just leave here this part of the battlefield and there we go take a note of that so it's number four and what we're going to want to do is add some commands to it so we'll select it go onto commands and we're going to go on to the air state go on select um, altitude is going to be back to 15 meters well, I'm going to make it a bit higher because there's those trees there let's go for 25 so that's all we have to do for waypoint 4 now we're going to select our waypoint 2 again and add some more commands to it so what we're going to do is add a delay and this delay is going to be how long we want the aircraft to be waiting here before it takes off again and flies away I'm going to put it at 12 seconds so after the delay we're going to add air state and we're going to put a altitude of 25 meters again because we're going to want it to fly that way at a height over the trees and after that we're going to actually want it to go to that waypoint off the battlefield so act to waypoint and on the waypoint we're going to select waypoint 4 which was the one off the map and we're going to click OK 
drop save and then it should all come together now we should have all the phases the troops board the aircraft we take off we fly across the battlefield here we are so we take a landing the soldiers leave so there's 12 seconds have started with that delay and the aircraft then takes off and flies off the map in the direction of waypoint four so that's all there is to it guys i mean it's fairly complex it's fairly lengthy process i know but uh once you know what you're doing with it then you can obviously modify it and create some really good scenarios in your missions so hope that helped if you have any more questions about either call of arms uh gates of hell or men of war assault squad 2 then I'm happy to answer them because I'm seeing a few more questions now, which is great. Uh, and then just comment below what you might want to see next. Um, I'm my, Well, my ears are all open, so yeah, let me know. Thanks for the view, guys, and thanks for staying, me, staying with me to the end of this. All right, I'll see you in the next video.